Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 15th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Cygnus Wall of Star Formation. So what do we see here? Well, this is part of the Cygnus Wall and actually part of what is called the North America Nebula for its resemblance to the coastline of North America. Not exactly, but does have a vague resemblance of that. And here we're only seeing a small portion of it. And when you try to look at it in detail, you certainly won't see any resemblance. But when you look at it overall, you actually can in larger images can actually see that. So here we see the part that would be uh, Central America and Mexico regions. Now this is actually a part of a star forming region in the constellation of Cygnus. Cygnus is one of those constellations that happens to be located in the plane of our galaxy and therefore has a lot of gas and dust and forms stars. So we see lots of star forming regions and those are primarily among those constellations located near the galactic plane. Now when we see these we see dark dusty areas which contain dense knots where stars are in the process of forming right now. We see what are called protostars and they are invisible to us. But could we look at this in the infrared part of the spectrum? we would be able to see through the dust and see these stars just beginning to form not having become true stars yet in order to become a star the object must be able to produce its own energy through nuclear fusion. That is what we consider the definition of a star. When does an object become a star? It's when it is able to undergo nuclear refuse, nuclear fusion reactions in its core. So the ones hidden in here would not be able to do that. We also see some of the lighter areas, the nebula, where stars have already emerged and are now illuminating the dust and gas around them. So they excite the gas and cause it to glow, giving off specific wavelengths of light characteristic of the specific elements that are present there. Primarily, that would be hydrogen gas with hydrogen gas making up 90% of all atoms within the universe. However, we can also look at other regions, other other elements and see the glows from things like oxygen or sulfur that are also present here and can help us look in in more detail and see the details within this nebula. Now the stars will continue forming and as they do they slowly eat away at the nebula pushing the material and the gas and dust outward until eventually several million years from now the star formation will have ceased enough stars will have formed pushed all of that material outward and leave behind just a young cluster of stars. However, star formation does not end. We see that it would, might end in this area, but new star formation will begin elsewhere in dark molecular clouds where it is actually the process is just starting at this point. So it is an ongoing process within a galaxy like our own that stars are continually forming, giving a fresh supply of hot new stars that help illuminate spiral galaxies like our own. So that was our picture of the day for August 15th of 2022. It was titled the Cygnus Wall of Star Formation. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.